Hey everyone, how is everyone doing? I hope you are doing well. I am here with an unboxing video for you. And today it's double trouble. Yes, it's Mumsy Box time. And I've got two because you know I didn't do it in August, so I've got to do it now. Mumsy Box is a monthly subscription. It's £10 a box plus PMP. Yes, plus PMP, I can see it written down here. Um, it comes towards the beginning of the month, second or third of every month. Six products will arrive. The last few boxes, especially the last one, I really liked. And even though the name is Dodge, I'm going to keep going with it for the time being. But we'll see whether these ones make the grade as well. So before I get into these and show you what you can get, you know what I'd love you to do. Ring that notification bell, never miss an upload. Why would you want to? Of course, you can give me a thumbs up, let me know that you like these videos, and it would be awesome if you could subscribe to my Pardiff family. The more subscribers, the merrier. It makes me super happy, and the more subscribers I have, the more fun giveaways and other things I can do for you guys. All right, let's get into the video. I'm going to start with this one because this is last month's and the one thing I love about Monzi Box is their boxes. They're really sturdy, they're firm, you could use them again and they're always really pretty. Uh, this is no straws in the back but on the front but it's nice and it just comes in a little plastic bag. Of course it's recyclable which is always good in this day and age. You open it up and it looks like this. In fact there should be a card telling me stuff but I don't know where it is. So we will just go in for it. Candy Kittens, a sour watermelon, gourmet sweets. Now, this isn't a full size bag, it's a mini bag, but I love these sweets and I'm very happy to have them. In fact, I did know this was in here and do you see how well restrained I've been? Because I've had this for like two months now and I haven't touched them. So you should be impressed with me. What is this? Fruity Magic Rejuvenating Cream Mask. Oh, I've never seen this before. You know I love a mask. Give your skin an antioxidant boost with magical pomegranate, the star turn in this powerhouse for mask, jam-packed with an oomph of nutrients thanks to a host of natural ingredients like rejuvenating green tea, skin-soothing aloe and regenerating honey, also featuring vitamins A, C and E, it's the perfect detox, leaving skin soft and supple with a natural glow. Can also help treat spot-prone skin. Oh, I like the sound of that. Who are? Ah, never heard of them. I'm gonna find out more. It says, fun and full of goodness are insanely new range of beauty products are effective, natural and easy to use and won't break the bank. Face the day with you are, packed with natural goodies. Uh, our new range is designed to transform tired complexions and morning after the party skin, keeping it smooth, hydrated and radiant. Passionate about the power and effectiveness of natural products and essential oils. We've traveled the world, carefully selected natural ingredients that we know will work for you, for all skin types. And it's designed and manufactured in the UK by King's Own Cosmetics Limited. You can buy them at, at amphoraretail.com. And at the moment they have three face masks. This is one of them. What is next? In my box. These. Now I've had these before because I actually won them. And these are like natural friendly wipes. I mean, as natural as a wipe can get. All skin types, naturally antiseptic. Paraben, MIT free, pH balance, biodegradable, which is great, which is what we need all wipes in our lives to be. And you can use these anywhere on your body. I think a festival, travel, or gym essential for quick and effective top to toe cleansing. Naturally antiseptic tea tree oil cleanses and removes bacteria while aloe vera leaves skin cool and calm. Perfect to keep in the home, car, office, or take on holiday. Uh, alcohol and artificial fragrance free. But they're currently 264, which is always good, and they're also vegan friendly. Okay. What is next? Be Good Youth Enhancing Plump and Firm Moisturizer made by British Bees. Oh, I think it's my second product from this company. And I like anything that promotes bees. We've got to look after our bees. I bought a bee house to put in my garden. It's basically just different shapes of wood where the bees can hide inside and stay safe and warm. Bursting with precious natural actives to intensely dehydrate, improving the visible signs of aging and leave skin with beauty, beautiful, youthful luminosity. Plumps, firms and smooths use morning and evening after cleansing. 
no paraben, synthetic color, mineral or oil, silicone, SLS or SLES. It's also vegan and made in the UK. So it's a high performing daily moisturizer containing hydrating British honey, antioxidant rich propolis and potent raspberry seed oil, rich in moisture boosting essential fatty acids to improve the visible signs of aging. Hyaluronic acid retains moisture in skin and cells. Um, concentrated algae tightens and strengthens the skin. No phthalates. Uh, skin should look dewy with a youthful luminosity. Instantly plumps, firms and smooths. Especially for mature or aging skin. It smells nice, really nice. Kind of lemony actually. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that. Two items left in this month's box. And we have this. Oh, this is so good. It's a shampoo bar, which is excellent for the environment because it comes in a cardboard packaging, it's recyclable, and instead of the extra plastic, because we've all seen about how plastic is really doing damage to the world right now, right? I mean, it has been for a long time, obviously. And plastic is in everything, it's even in tea bags, for goodness sake, so any ways we can reduce it is good. So I am very happy when companies do this. It's 100% recycled, recycled packaging and it's fully recyclable. It's made with vitamin E, rich castor oil, ideal for all hair types. This long-lasting bar naturally nourishes conditions and promotes healthy hair growth. Because our soaps are all handmade, they might change shape and shade. Um, pH 8 to 9 is made in England as well, so I love that we're promoting another UK business. Friendly soap shampoo bar with lavender and geranium essential oils. And it's just a soap like this. It smells nice. It smells like posh natural something, which I guess is basically what it is. I've never actually tried one of these. Um, a few of my friends now use shampoo bars rather than um, shampoo in a bottle. Each bar is handmade with castor oil, coconut oil, olive oil, lavender and rose geranium essential oils, water, and nothing else. It's amazing. They're all free from palm oil, parabens, sulfates, triclosan, phthalates, and cruelty free. Um, they're registered with the Vegan Society. There is a transition, it says, when you switch from the standard chemical shampoos to natural bars, commonly called the purge. Your hair or scalp may become oily or dry or a bit back and forth between the two. Your hair might feel frizzy or waxy like there's residue still in your hair. Don't panic, this is your hair adjusting. Your scalp needs time to rebalance the oil production. It usually lasts about a week, depending how damaged your hair is and it will go away. Stick with it. Once your hair is adjusted, it feels softer, cleaner and more manageable because shampoo bars clean and condition your hair and scalp without stretching with its natural sebum. If you have dandruff problems, you may find this clears up because your scalp is not getting dried out. Your body is no longer reacting to chemicals. Definitely going to give this a try in our house. So I'm happy to have that. Another full size product. And then last we have this. What is it? Oh, Mercy Handy, who I love. If you don't know, I love Mercy Handy. But it's dry shampoo. And I just had a shampoo bar. And okay, obviously I can use dry shampoo when without getting my hair wet. Hence dry shampoo, come on. <laughs> so it's not exactly the same product. But a bit weird to have two shampoo products in the same box, do you think? Do you think? Hmm. Well, you let me know. Love is in the hair. Are you the absolute boss at running late in the morning? Yes, yes I am. We've got it to the root of the problem and created this dry shampoo to absorb sebum and give you perfectly volume in no time. Bouncy, silky, deliciously scented hair just for you. Have a good hair day, it says. Invisible formula for incredible locks. Namaste, a scent softer than a big hug from your mum. Loaded with love and pro-vitamin B5. This is another full-size product. I'm just going to spray a little bit because... I just want to see what it smells like. I've never used it. I don't know what I was doing with it then. I never used dry shampoo. Oh, it does smell nice. Do I need it? So what are you supposed to do? Better? Worse? It does smell really nice. I wonder if I can just use this as kind of like hairspray or something. Is that weird? It's not hairspray, is it? It's dry shampoo. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put it in my giveaway pile. But it does smell really nice. And it doesn't stay white, does it? Don't think so. 
there we go just gonna do a quick add up while we're back now you know my normal standards i like every box to be double the cost and that includes pmp i know we get pmp for a reason it delivers stuff to us but that's what i'm like because glossy box and the other boxes they all come over that that's my rules so this box total is 22 pounds and two pence so not hitting the target which would have been 27 pounds i wish it could be a little bit more you know just hit that 27 pound mark honestly it's the way to go i tell you it's the way to go even if you put in a full size bag of sweets that's probably would have tipped me over the edge into you've hit the target however i do like the products um apart from the dry shampoo i am going to use all of them so that makes it a good box speedily on to the next one this one not nearly as heavy as the other does that sound dangerous or is it okay I don't know. open it up nearly lost something okay so what have we got oh this looks nice i really love their packaging i just love that color bluey purple i love the shininess of it and the design it's just really nice. Made in England, again, I approve. Feather and Down Sweet Dreams Melting Shower Cream. So this is Sweet Dreams Melting Shower Cream with Calming Lavender and Chamomile Essential Oils. And it says Sleep Matters. Cleanse your skin, clear your mind, and let daytime stress wash away. This shower cream will melt into a calming oil when gently massaged into your skin, leaving it feeling beautifully soft and deeply nourished. Oh, it smells lovely. I mean, obviously, it's lavender and chamomile, so it should smell like lavender, right? And it does smell like lavender. It smells delicious. It's also free from paraben, sulfates, and mineral oils. And it says the feeling of warm water on your skin relaxes your body and eases tension after a long day. Flavours of rosé wine, the real wine gum, wine design. This is a tiny, super cute little box. I guess it's a sweet inside you get two little gums that look like a bunch of grapes if you can see that it's edible wine a whole new experience of that first sip without drinking why would you want to have wine but without drinking because surely that just makes you like drunk on sweets which is terrible because i can eat loads of sweets okay i'm going to try this I don't drink alcohol anymore, so I'm not sure if this is going to be nice, but quite a hard gum. It's nice, it's sweet. Interesting. I wonder if it actually has alcohol in it. Okay, so I'm on their website. It says, Vinos by AMS introduces edible wine in the form of real wine gums. A totally new and exclusive luxury product for the market. This designer product is available in the flavors of Chardonnay, Merlot, Rosé and Rising. A wine gum offers an interpair of senses, experiences sensational scent. So finding out about finding out about these little sweets. It's the real wine gum. Who doesn't like wine? How often do you long for that first sip on the couch after a hard day's work? But unfortunately, you still have to dry home. Who does not like wine? How often do you long for that first sip on the couch after a hard day's work? But unfortunately, you still have to drive home. Wine is hip, innovation, designer, trendy. Venus by AMS develops edible wine in the form of real wine gums. The range consists of white Chardonnay, a German Riesling, a Rosé and a Red Merlot wine gum. It's not candy for children but adult luxury happiness. It's suitable for vegetarians. It's gluten, fat, nuts, gelatin and lactose free. It contains no artificial colours. In short, it's healthy and delicious. Um, and it says the history of a wine gum. We created a wine gum which tastes like wine but doesn't contain any alcohol and is suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Many fans of the real wine gum have even experienced a wine-like aftertaste. Everyone recognises that moment when you've worked hard all day and can't wait for that first sip of wine. That moment can now take place at work. I feel like this is just encouraging you to be drunk and I don't like wine that much anymore because it doesn't sit well with me. This doesn't make me think of wine. Plus, in a box, a box of these is £7.50 for full size, and you get 12 and a half, it's 50 grams, and these are like 4 grams each. So, basically 12 for £7.50, that is a lot of money to spend on sweets. 
and it does taste nice but mm, I do not think that this is a good buy personally but maybe somebody out there does let's move on right let's try this never seen this before or this branding what am I XO Balm, multi-purpose natural balm, nourishes and protects skin, hair and nails with beeswax, coconut oil, olive oil and chia seed oil. And that's it. So it's natural care for stressed skin. It treats dry and sensitive skin with an effective combination of natural ingredients. Perfect relief of severe dry skin, roughness, cracking or irritation from dermatitis. It leaves a lasting protective barrier with a matte finish. It can be used on all areas of the body, face, lips, nails, hands, feet, scalp, hair and more. Um, no chemical or synthetic ingredients, free from preservatives and fragrance. Cruelty free, sustainable and eco-conscious brand. Um, inspired by ancient beauty ingredients, travel friendly tin with a mirror and a spatula. Let's open it up. Oh, ah, look, so inside you've got your mirror, you've got your spatula. And you've got your balm. It has a little smell, but it doesn't really smell of anything. Because I'm going to use my spatula to scrape up a bit. So it's not like Vaseline, it's a lot harder, it's just like a wax. Oh, but when you like rub it, it's really sticky. It turns into like a sort of gummy paste. Oh, that's so odd. It's almost like crumbly, but you can keep rubbing it in and pushing it. And it really is matte, like it's, I mean, it's a tiny shine, but it's not like Vaseline or anything. Or like Dr. Paw Paw or things like that. Just smells a bit waxy, if anything. That is quite a nice, interesting product. I like that it can be used on lots of things. I bet this would be good on like burns and balm, burns and balms, burns and bites and things like that. Hmm. And I really like that it has a little mirror in it and a spatula. And that it's all like made locally and it's eco-friendly. That is so cool. So it was a blend so effective in treating my dry damaged skin and smoothing split ends that she turned it into a business. The logo is supposed to be as cute as a button, so it's supposed to look like a button. Do you see it? I see it now. As eczema prone hands and irritated skin, flaky lips and dry hair have been a lifelong struggle. So she decided to start experimenting with homemade res remedies and then came up with this, learnt beeswax was a beauty staple of ancient Egyptians and became a key element. Wow, so maybe if you have skin trouble, eczema things, you might want to give this a shot. I know people struggle with it and look for a dream product, but maybe this is it. Maybe this is the one for you, XO. Right, what else we got? Oh, more food, more food. These, I don't know what they are. Peaks, crunchy salted caramel chocolate squares. Oh, I don't like salted caramel. Refined sugar free. I do like the polar bear, it's cute. High in fiber, no palm oil, which is great. Slow releasing energy, packed with B12 and iron, the perfect pick me up. Whether you're partying, exercising, snacking, or working. And made in the UK in Hull. Our story begins with a young polar bear named Nanook, whose adventures are driving force behind our product. As vegans, we want to shed light on the effects of climate change and its impacts on biodiversity across the world, so we created Peaks. It's a fun food source that's consciously and ethically made. Our little bite-sized vegan and vegetarian friendly crunchy chocolate squares are a delicious snack that can be consumed anywhere. This is what they look like. It looks like dark chocolate, I think. We felt there were a few healthy snack options that also appeal to vegans and vegetarians, so we created a snack that uses dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate and whole grain cereal at its core. Uh, dark chocolate is linked to a boosted mood apparently, so should we try it? It's not that bad. I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate, so it's not really for me. But um, I can't really taste the salted caramel part. Maybe it's the sweetness, but I don't really get the salt, which is excellent if you don't like salted caramel. But if you're really wanting that taste, then maybe this isn't for you. Um, what does it remind me of? Do you know what it reminds me of? Like um, cornflake cakes, you know when you make them cover them in chocolate and just make them into little cakes that's what this reminds me of um two pence of our profits from each bag they want to donate to saving animals and facing severe changes to their habitats by 2019 so like they want to make enough money eventually to be able to do that um 
and also they want all of their packaging to be completely biodegradable and have zero landfill contribution by 2019. So if you are into helping the animals, have these. If you're vegan, have these. If you just like a snack and you like a bit of dark chocolate, have these. That's all I can say about that, I think. Okay, what else have we got? Evolve Organic Beauty Superfood Shine Shampoo for normal to dry hair with Baobab and Pomegranate. I wouldn't normally be mad at this, but we just had two different types of shampoo in the last month's box. So to have another shampoo straight away, seems a bit much. I mean, I know they're small, but that shampoo bar is gonna last for a while. Anyway, it's 98% natural, 72% organic, it's 50 mil, it's not full size, it's made in Hertfordshire, England. Oh, it smells really, I don't know, I'm just giving it to you to smell, you can't smell it. <laughs> what a muppet. It does smell nice. It says an organic shampoo enriched with baobab and pomegranate to enhance, shine, strengthen and protect hair, reduce frizz and tangles as well as boosting softness and smoothness. Okay, they got me with a reduced frizz. Maybe it's worth it for me. Next item. I think there are actually seven items or seven different types of item in this month's box, which is interesting. So we have this. I'll put a picture into this too. Um, this is Amana Natural Skincare Revive Face Oil with Lavender and Frankincense. I really like, I don't know if you can see that properly. It's got like little flowers on the side. It makes you want to do some colouring in. Um, apply drops to fingertips and massage into the skin using light strokes. Okay, hand blended in Oxfordshire. I do really like how this box really gets lots of stuff from small businesses. I know I said that earlier, but I'm going to say it again because I do like it. Right, little dropper. I don't know, I'm just going to leave it upside down for a sec. Oh no, it's coming out, it's coming out. There we go. There we go. Once it's out, uh, it obviously is an oil. It's not the thinnest of oils, but it's not the thickest either. It says, our award-winning Revive Face Oil is a luxurious blend of nourishing plant oils packed with natural vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and omega oils, essential to keep skin hydrated and younger looking. Infused with pure essential oils, frankincense and lavender, which helps slow the appearance of wrinkles and balance the skin. Ooh, that sounds nice. Vitamin E has been added to aid cell regeneration and to boost collagen, suitable for all skin types and particularly beneficial to dehydrated and sensitive skin. All right, our last item is this, which is a tea bag sample. And I'm glad that they did seven things if they're gonna include this as an item because I really feel like tea bags are an extra and this is kind of an extra. So we've got Super Tea. I've never heard of the brand Super Tea. Um, licorice Fennel Digest which is the blue one. Super Tea, Seven Herb Wellness, the peachy pink one, salmon one, and then another licorice fennel one. These teas are from Sweden. The website is called Tea Ministeriet. That's Scandinavian tea. In Scandinavia, Tea Ministeriet means the Ministry of Tea. Outside of Scandinavia, we sometimes call that Scandinavian tea. Either way, what we do is create premium tea products from our tea lab in Sweden. It's a collection of organic blends based on superfoods, including super tea, super herbs, super fruits, and or super spices. Organically sourced in small batches, created by Tea Ministeriat in Sweden. Okay, so that's all my items, and that is a grand total of £23.26. Again, not double the cost. So I'm going to use the products again. Do you know what? I'm starting to feel just a little bit underwhelmed. And maybe it's because I'm obviously too materialistic or anything because I feel like if something had been worth a bit more, it would be a bit more exciting. But it's not necessarily the value, it's what the products do, isn't it? So maybe that's a lesson I need to take, but I'm not as excited as maybe as a glossy box or something. But I know this is a new box and it takes time to build up your, like, the brands that will work with you and things. And one really good thing is they are really concentrating on organic, vegan, um, make products made in the UK, like environmentally friendly products that are caring about the world. And it's always introducing me to new items. So maybe it is a really good box actually, just if I look at it in a different way. With Christmas coming up and all these advent calendars coming out and I really need, I need every single one does make me think I'm gonna have a lot of extra products and maybe I should put this box on hold for a while unless you guys tell me that you love this box and you really want to see it next month 
let me know ASAP before they deliver me the new box because it'll be coming out at the beginning of the month. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's a bit longer, um, but I hope you made it all the way to the end. Let me know down below what you think of all these products, what you think of Mumsy Box in general. And until you see me next time, I hope you find something positive in every day and take care of yourselves. Bye guys.